For the first time in rural fire service history, a helicopter has been used through the night to monitor and assist crews battling the blaze at Woolaman. Infrared technology was utilised to direct ground crews from the air with the fire now contained. The rural fire service's biggest and best, the DC-10 comes in low, dumping retardant on the Woolaman fire. It's one of seven aircraft that's been key in battling the blaze, which has been burning for five days straight. Aircrane Elsie, Thor and Southern Bell were also continuously waterbombing through the day. And for the first time in New South Wales fire finding history, the helicopters equipped with infrared technology are flying at night, providing round-the-clock defence. Uh, actively monitoring the fire, helping it uh, monitor the hotspots. So that would help us identify areas that we can go out at first light today and then concentrate on those areas where the crews are now, making sure those hot spots are out. A bird's eye view has been essential in fighting the fire which has ripped through rugged terrain not easily accessible by ground crews. While it continues to burn, firefighters have been able to strengthen containment lines around the fire, allowing mopping up to begin. Where we've got graders and excavators as well as aircraft, ensuring we get full containment on this fire and actually breaking up uh, fallen trees and logs, making sure we got uh, full containment and making sure it's all out. The hope is to have the blaze under control by the time more extreme heat hits the region on Wednesday. So we're trying to make sure that we can get that full containment by those days and then actively monitor and patrol the fire leading into the weekend. Smaragardner, Wind News.